they're preaching or they're just tired, how do we discover or rediscover what, what it means to be arrested by God's story and God's presence rather than just kind of floating at the surface, uh, mastering the tricks and tips and techniques? Right. Yeah. And I, it's also important to say this is not shortchange the work of preaching. Sure. It doesn't shortchange, nor does it mean that there's um, some easy fix or that that means our preaching is always from on high. Um, it just means that when we're talking about the profound moment of preaching, what we're talking about is something that God is doing before it's something that we're doing. Hmm. Um, that, that as a preacher, I am trying to allow my life and my understanding as flawed as it will be <laughs> and um, you know, recognizing how many wrong things I'm going to say, um, but that what I'm trying to do is reckon with the fact that God has spoken and that this speaking word is creative and it, 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 it divides uh, deep into the human soul. And that doesn't mean that my, my words do those things, but I'm trying to bear witness to the words that do those things. And so on those rare moments, perhaps where the spirit seems to grant extra grace, you, you find that the words that you're speaking actually cohere with the words that God has spoken. And what a beautiful thing that is. Um, and then I, I was, should I pause there? I had one other thought. No, but I no, it. please continue. Okay. Um, to me, I think um, Bart, Carl Bart, is a, a really wonderful um, example of both of these truths being true at the same time. So there's probably no, you know, no theologian um, of the past hundred years or so who has more fundamentally challenged our human-centered ideas of theology and God. You know, Bart was saying over and over again, God is other, God is other. Um, and that's, I think that's an important reorientation for us is that God is not merely a projection of our imagination. God doesn't merely say the things that we would like God to say, that God actually speaks a word to us and confronts us. At the same time, I recently read these words from Bart, and I, I just, I think you have to hold them together. Um, I'm going to read it slowly. It is as the persons they are that preachers are called to this task. As these specific people with their own characteristics and histories. It is as the persons they are that they have been selected and called. This is what is meant by originality. Pastors are not to adopt a, a role. They are not to slip into the clothing of biblical characters. That would be the worst kind of comedy. They are not to be Lutherans, churchmen, prophets, visionaries, or the like. They are simply to be themselves and to expound the text as such. Preaching is the responsible word of a person of our own time. Having heard myself, I am called upon to pass on what I have heard. Even as ministers, it matters that these persons be what they are. They must not put on a character or a robe. They do not have to play a role. It is you who have been commissioned. You, just as you are. Not as minister, as pastor or theologian. Not under any con concealment or cover. But you, yourself, have simply to discharge this commission. I think I think that's really hopeful.